Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about the overview and scope of cell biology, especially for the beginner participants. Additionally, in this session, we will also try to look for the trending research topics, especially in the cell biology sector. And along with that, we are going to see the significant techniques which are currently used in cell biology. And finally, we are going to conclude the session with the high salary job option in the cell biology area. So let's get started. So let's explore the fascinating world of cell biology. Cell biology is a branch of biology that focuses on structure, function and behavior of cells, which is the basic unit of life. The cell biology plays a very important role, especially in the areas of biotechnology, biochemistry, biomedical area, and along with that in the biopharmaceutical area as well. It explores the complex processes that occur within the cells such as growth, replication, division, and communication. It plays a crucial role in our understanding of life, disease, and biotechnology. So now let's dive into the scope of cell biology. As I mentioned, cell biology is a broad area and there is a vast range of topics where you can work on. The number one is understanding the cell structure, investigating the components and the organelle within the cell such as nucleus, mitochondria or endoplasmic reticulum etc. Thus, by understanding these cellular structure, we can better understand the cellular system and physiology and thereby we can apply those systems for applied purpose as well. The another scope where you can work is to understand the cell function, studying the biochemical processes that take place within the cell such as metabolism, protein synthesis and cell signaling and you know how crucial these areas are especially in the disease biology. The another sector where you can focus is cell division. Exploring the mechanism of cell replication and division is also a significant sector including mitosis, meiosis. This kind of studies plays a very important role to understand the development and also in the cancer research area. The next scope is to understand the cell communication. Understanding how cells communicate with each other through cell signaling is also a vital area to work on. The next significant area is to understand the cell differentiation. Investigating how cells develop into specialized type and crucial for the development and maintenance of multicellular organism. Along with these, a very significant area is to understand the cell cycle regulation. Examining the control that govern the regulations and progression of cell cycle. And along with that, the next area is to understand the cellular genetic. Studying the inheritance and expression of genes within the cell is also playing a significant role. Now let's dive deeper into the field by exploring some of the trending research topics in the cell biology. So here are the trending research topics in cell biology. The number one is cancer cell metabolism. As you know, cell biology is a very strong pillar of cancer research. Investigating how altered metabolism in cancer cells contribute to tumor growth and potential therapeutic target. The next area is stem cell therapy. Exploring the use of stem cell for regenerative medicine and tissue repair. The next area is CRISPR-Cas gene editing. You can develop precise gene editing technique to modify cellular DNA for desired biological functions and properties. The next fascinating area is your organelle dynamic. Studying the movement and interaction of organelle within the cells plays a crucial role in the functioning and physiology of cells. The next area is autophagy and cellular recycling. Understanding the process of autophagy in maintaining the cell health. The next significant sector is your cellular senescence. Investigating the mechanism behind the cell aging and its implication for age-related diseases. The next area is exome biology. Exploring the role of exosomes in cell communication and disease is also a trending area these days. Adding to the list, the next area is cellular immunology. Studying how immune cells interact with pathogens and tumor cells at the cellular level. The next area is cellular microbiome. Investigating the microbiota residing within the cells and their impact on the host cell is also a crucial area to work on. 
Along with these, the next area is neurodegenerative diseases, examining cellular mechanism underlying diseases like Enzymo, Parkinson's is also a significant area. I myself has worked in the neurosciences. I have worked on Enzymo, Parkinson, Ismic stock along with the Neuro HIV project. The next area is cellular response to stress. Understanding how cells respond to various stressors such as heat, radiation, toxins are also very significant area. I have worked on some of the projects where we have investigated the role of heavy metals on the cellular system via reactive oxygen species. The next area is synthetic biology. Designing and engineering cells for application in the biotechnology and medicine is also a booming sector. The next area is cellular signaling and development. Exploring how cells communicate to shape the development of organism is also a significant sector. And along with that, cellular metabolic, analyzing the complete set of metabolite within the cells to understand cellular function. And adding to the list, single cell analysis. This is an advancing technique to study individual cells, thereby revealing cellular heterogeneity within the tissue. So if you are having passion for cell biology or you might be wanting to enter a sector, in that scenario, let me give you some of the significant techniques which you will be requiring in cell biology research. As I mentioned, I myself has applied multiple biology experience along with the cell biology as my PhD and postdoc were related to cancer biology. So I have had a lot of cancer cell culture experiments. So mostly in the biotechnology, cell biology and cell culture kind of labs, you will require these kind of experiments and techniques. So the number one is fluorescence microscopy, which enables the visualization of cellular structure and molecules using fluorescent tag. Sometimes you also require to do the investigation by using electron microscopy, which provide high resolution images of cells for ultra structure and for better understanding. The next significant area is flow cytometry, which allows the analysis of individual cells in the population based on various parameters. And this is one of the technology very frequently we have used in my cancer research project. And if any one of you are interested in learning the hands-on training on flow cytometry, especially in the Delhi NCR region, can contact me. The next technique is immunohistochemistry, which identifies the specific proteins in the tissue sections. Along with that, the omic technology like RNA sequencing, which can give you the profile of gene expression at the transcriptomic level. You can also perform proteomic to analyze the complete set of protein in a cell. These days with the advancement in gene editing, CRISPR-Cas gene editing can also be utilized for precise modification at the cellular level. As I mentioned, cell culture will be very significant technique which you all will be requiring if you want to enter such an area. So by using cell culture techniques, you can grow and maintain cells in a controlled environment for experimental purpose. Along with that, you also require to perform certain biochemical and molecular biology based experiments like Western blotting to detect specific protein within the cells. Along with that, sometimes you require mass to charge ratio of molecules for identification purpose. Adding to the list, a very important technique is live cell imaging, which observes the cellular processes in real time is a significant technique to learn. Sometimes you also require super resolution microscopy to achieve the resolution beyond the diffraction limit. And you also require cytochemistry based experiments and techniques where you use chemical stains to study cellular structures. Along with that, the patch clamping which record the ion channel activity in the individual cell. You may also use atomic force microscopy to measure mechanical properties of cells and cellular components. If you're working at the molecular biology level to understand the cell function, then you also need to perform electrophoresis to separate the protein or nucleic acid based on the starch and size. You can also perform chip experiments to map the protein-DNA interaction in the cells. You can also run experiments related to metabolomic to profile the cellular metabolite. If you are having interest in structural biology, then you can run X-ray crystallography to determine the three-dimensional structures of biomolecules to better understand its functionality. 
enlarged but not the least you can also use optogenetic you can control the cellular activity with the light and this kind of experiment we have done in japan to understand two of the significant cellular processes one was autophagy and other was apoptosis so by now you can understand these techniques are the backbone of modern cellular biology which plays a significant impact on areas like biotech biopharma and biomedical sector as well enabling researcher to explore cellular processes so if you get expertise in cellular biology let's see what are the high salary job prospects which are available for this sector a career in the cell biology can be both intellectually rewarding and financially lucrative the number one is you can become a biotechnology research scientist you can perform and conduct research to develop new biotech products and processes which often requires cellular biologists the next area is you can become a pharmaceutical scientist you may focus on the drug discovery and development areas because that sector is also interdisciplinary sectors which require a lot of molecular biologists and cell biologists the next area is you can become a medical scientist investigate human diseases and develop diagnostic and therapeutic for that you can also become a bioinformatics specialist analyze and interpret biological data using computational methods you can become a cellular biology professor educate the next generation of cellular biologists if you have passion for teaching you can also become a genetic counselor you may advise individuals and families on the genetic testing and risk associated with genetic disorders you can also become a clinical resource manager who oversees the clinical trials and research project you can also become a biomedical engineer design the equipment and devices for cell biology research you may also become a regulatory affairs specialist who ensures compliance with the regulation in the drug development and finally you can also become a cell therapy researcher who works on advanced therapies using cellular material these position offer competitive salaries and opportunities for advancement within the field of cell biology cell biology is a dynamic and ever evolving field with a vast research opportunity and promising career prospect whether you are interested in understanding the fundamental processes of life or contributing to the cutting edge research and innovation cell biology offer a rich and rewarding path for aspiring scientists and professionals thank you for your interest in the fascinating world of cell biology to stay updated on the latest research trends and educational content and career opportunities please consider subscribing to our channel we also value your thoughts and insights so feel free to share your comments questions or topic you would like to learn more about in the field of cell biology in the comment section below i hope you have liked the session don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor and if any one of you who are interested in learning cell culture or cell biology based technique especially the hands on training can approach us thank you